Anyways, they basically asked if I could do a spreadsheet with Bitcoin price predictions and explaining how long it would take and how much you need to retire on Bitcoin. Um, but what I want to do instead is actually, instead of doing price predictions, this is actually based on what's happened. And so I'm going to bring this up here. <clears throat> But this is the spreadsheet that I talked about and I actually made an adjustment to it this morning. This is why I was a little bit late for the show. But I made an adjustment to this this morning because the whole idea with this channel here and one of the main things I talk about is no matter how much Bitcoin you have, if you have half a Bitcoin, one Bitcoin, 10 Bitcoin, whatever amount you have, you should your end goal here should be to keep 90 to 95% of that Bitcoin and never spend it. Think of it like a farmer thinks of their land. The exact same way they pass it on to their kids, they pass it on to their kids, and they never sell it. They take out loans against it with the illusionary fiat dollars and they buy things with that using their land as collateral, but they never sell their land. And I want everybody to be thinking about that with Bitcoin, the exact same concept with your Bitcoin. You keep 90 to 95 percent of it. So the guy asked me to do a Bitcoin price prediction in terms of how much you'll need to retire. But I think this is a more accurate way to explain it. So in 2020, let's say you had 100 Bitcoin. And I know this seems high. These are just numbers. Don't worry about the actual Bitcoin. Don't worry about the dollar value. Because as we go on here, every cycle, this amount here, this 100 Bitcoin is actually the requirement to start. This is going to be much less as we go on. So this is just kind of a way to explain the fact that with your Bitcoin, even though you're spending some of your Bitcoin and your Satoshis and your Bitcoin balance is going to go down over time, your purchasing power is actually going to increase as you go. So this small little spreadsheet here goes through 2020. You bought 100 Bitcoin worth $726,000. In 2021, you decide to spend a little bit. You spend one Bitcoin, which average of 2021 was 50000 bucks. It was higher than that. The, that was when the all-time high was before. It was 69000 I think. But the average about for 2021 was 50000 bucks. So that's what you lived off of, $50,000. Part of it anyways. 2022, you spent two Bitcoin because price dropped down a little bit. You still got 50000 bucks worth. 2023, you spent another two Bitcoin and you got $60,000 living expenses. And then at the end of it, in 2024, you still have 95 Bitcoin. And the purchasing power of that Bitcoin went from 626,000 to 5.1 million. And so you run through the same experiment or the same concept here for the next four years and your balance is now 5.1 million USD. And it's gonna continue. So you spend a Bitcoin, you spend a couple Bitcoin, you spend a couple hundred thousand Satoshis as we move on here. But the point of this is to show that even though your Bitcoin balance is going down, you're spending some of your Bitcoin, your purchasing 